Hey there, it's Brady Gilbert with Call Brady Computer Services. I want to talk to you a little bit about Windows 11. Now, today is uh, late June, and as of even two weeks ago, Cortana, the Microsoft Assistant, was telling us that there would never be a Windows 11. Uh, because that's what Microsoft told us when Windows 10 first came out, that Windows 10 was now a service, that they were kind of came out with these biannual updates, which you may have seen. Uh, and so even very recent, until very recently, I've been telling my clients there's not going to be a Windows 11. It's Windows 10 from here on out, or so they tell us. Well, last Wednesday they made the announcement, Windows 11 is coming. I'm a little bit frust I'm more than a little bit frustrated by that um, because I feel like it kind of hinders their, uh, their image. I feel like it... Uh, makes it a little bit harder to trust some of their announcements. I'm not a fan of that, but let me tell you what's coming with Windows 11. Uh, first off, Windows 11 will be a free upgrade if you're on Windows 10, but your computer does have to meet certain specifications. Uh, if you want to find out if your computer meets those specifications, you can pull up my website, callbrady.com. There's a link about a third of the way down the page, or a section where I'm talking about some details with Windows 11. Uh, and there's a link there for a file that's directly from the Microsoft site. You can download that file, run it, and then um, and it will tell you if your computer is compatible. Another thing that you can do to get a good sense of if your system is compatible is if you press the Start button down in the bottom left corner of your screen, type M. S info 32 all together all lowercase press enter a screen is going to pop up and where it talks about your processor on the list on the right uh, it's going to say that you have an i3 processor i5 processor i7 but then there's going to be an, a number that immediately follows that that number typically four digits has to be at least an eight in order for your system to qualify um, and, uh, and what that means is that your system is an eighth generation Intel processor. Now there are Celeron processors, AMD processors that also qualify, but if you want to know for sure with those, just run the test that I mentioned before. The other thing uh, is if your system does not qualify for Windows 11, Windows 10 will continue to update, will continue to be supported on your system until October of 2025. Uh, at which point it goes the way of Windows XP, Windows 7, and again, that's where I run into the frustration with this whole announcement, uh, because they had made it sound as though as long as you kept your system up to date that Windows 10 was not going to expire on you the way that uh, previous operating systems had. So that's the kind of a high-level summary. The biggest benefits of Windows 11, it looks like it is going to be a better performer, it's going to be faster, uh, the code is going to be lighter weight, so so it's going to take up less uh, hard drive space. Updates are going to be smaller and quicker to run. It gives it kind of a, honestly, kind of a Mac feel to it as far as the layout of the screen. Um, and it's going to have some definite benefits for those of you who multitask. If you have, for example, um, well... I won't get into all that right now, but if you multitask on a computer a lot, especially in business, it's going to have some big benefits for you. Hope this all helps. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, Brady at callbrady.com. Uh, be glad to help you out in any way I can, and I uh, hope you're having a great week, and I'll give you some more updates as soon as I can. Thanks so much.